If I may recommend, please, that uh, this is excellent work. I have read it, although it, it just did come in. I would recommend that uh, the uh, director uh, provide a synopsis and that this be posted to the town websites under document and finance department of budget. Okay. Yep. So I will go through it quickly for you. Um, so basically we had uh, engaged services with Fawcett and Sanderson, who are our auditors. I met with Scott Egan. He's the lead auditor up there for the town of Hampton and many other communities. I, we were basically, our the task at hand was to look at future debt for the town and to come back and report the impact that debt would have on the town. So I'm going to just skip around a little bit in his little report here. And on the second page, I think the very last paragraph is the key paragraph. It, and I'm just going to read it to you guys because, um, like I said, I just went over this myself. So mm -hmm. it's basically telling us that when he analyzed the $1.1 million that for Lafayette Road that was already voted on in 17 and also added in the $13.8 um, million dollar project that is going to be before the voters in March, I believe, I think it got voted to be passed on to the voters. I heard that. He's saying that our um, highest debt year will be in 2019. And then he goes on to tell us that given this scenario, the maximum debt outstanding will occur in 2019 when there will be outstanding long-term debt payable of $27,869,290. This amount is well below the ta statutory municipal debt limits established by RSA 33 colon 4 small a, which states that the town shall not incur net indebtedness to an amount at any, any one time outstanding exceeding 3% of their valuation, based upon the town of Hampton's last valuation as reported for the 2017 tax rate setting, the assessed valuation of 3327628500 sets the debt limit at $99,828,856. So at that $27 million, he's showing that the town is well below their t statutory debt limit based on the p potential issuance and should have capacity to assume additional debt based on these established levels. So I think that was um, one of the main goals um, that we were looking to accomplish with this. And so... I just wanted to skip to that part first. When you go through and read this, um, he's basically letting the board know that yes, he and I did meet. I provided him with many of the charts that I use to calculate debt, to calculate tax rates, or estimated tax rates, um, fiscal impacts of warrant articles. And he took those charts, he reviewed the charts, he confirmed that the charts were satisfactory, that they're being calculated correctly, all of our debt charts are being done properly, um, the debt schedules that we report. And so he basically used all of that, those, those, uh, that information to produce all of the reports that are here. Most of them are reports that he did obtain from me but has gone through and proofed them. And so you will see there's several, four different exhibits, I believe, and they go through and show you the 2018 tax rate estimate of everything that we've put forward so far was to pass. Um, it doesn't take any unassigned fund balance into consideration, so no one should panic when they see that because I think it's six, what does it say there, 693, um, but, or six, yeah, 93, but that doesn't take into whether or not, um, First of all, it's assuming everything passes, and then it also doesn't take into consideration whether any fund balance is used for that. He also attaches a document that shows you the tax impact of each individual Warren article, which is what I also have. And then he goes through and shows you that $13.8 million uh, debt, similar to the debt schedule that we put in our budget books. So he just gives you a rundown of all of that information. And on the last paragraph of the first ba page, He's basically confirming that the every hundred thousand dollars that we play with here in seventeen and in eighteen and back in sixteen also every hundred thousand dollars equates to about three cents uh, on the tax rate. Sorry, okay. and so he confirmed that's kind of what I've thrown out there before, and he's confirming that in the last paragraph on the first page, just saying that you know for every hundred thousand you add in revenues or every hundred thousand you add in expenditures, you're either adding. Three cents or taking three cents off of your tax rate. 
So that's a quick, very, very quick synopsis because I have had it just about as long as you guys. <laughs> so. Thank you. Questions? So this entire document is going to be put up on the town website? Is that what we just If that's what I'm instructed to do. Okay, because it's very interesting because you can just also tell the difference between 20 years, 25 30, years. 30 years. And right? 30, 30 years. years. Yes. Oh, that's another good point. The longer you go, it adds yeah, he, over three quarters of a million in interest. Right, and that's a so. good point. I'm sorry, I missed that. That was on the second page, too. He's basically saying for every five years that you add to the 13.8 uh, bond, you're adding $776,000. Seven hundred seventy-six thousand dollars in interest each time. So, each of the five years. So, if you do a twenty-five, and then you add seven seventy-six, seven hundred seventy-six thousand, and then if you go to thirty, you add another seven hundred seventy-six thousand in interest charges. Thank you. I forgot. I Thank you very one. much, Rusty. All set. Nope. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Zanoy, who is a, a stout and uh, eager participant in uh, the municipal platform, uh, shared comments tonight about operational transparency and his concerns, which I'm sure will be met. And the town has done that through the directorship uh, and the assistant director with their presentation and their transparency uh, going forward on the operational side. Your work here, Director, uh, this is substantially your work, which has been uh, uh, not supervised but uh, confirmed by our auditor uh, is a testimony to your tremendous skill. It's a testimony to the tremendous financial management uh, that this town has employed. And it's a tremendous backpat, I think, to the people of this town and the citizenry that, that goes to the polls and uh, invests in their town. And when they look at this and they study this, it makes it uh, perfectly reasonable that it's a well-managed financial uh, package that these are not any Christmas lists. These are the uh, exigencies of, of government and municipal platforms and queued, uh, to include the public work. So I commend you to, uh, for getting this and getting this out to the voters. And I think it makes it uh, much easier for them to make a decision to uh, vote in their own best interest and self-interest. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Super. Okay. Thank and you. so I will put that on the website tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Great. Excellent. Thank you.